And we begin with the Democratic pick for Vice President Rashi. That's right, the pick is officially in. Vice President Kamala Harris is choosing Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate. Now, the two are hitting the ground running with a rally in Philadelphia tonight. And that's actually where we find Fox's Kaylee Skylar. So, Kaylee, this is the first stop of their battleground state tour. We're just 90 days out from the election. A lot of ground to cover. Good evening, Caroline. Well, the rally is officially underway here in Philly. Hall, uh, Walls and Harris just took the stage about 60 seconds ago, and it is a packed and rowdy crowd at Temple University. Now, they were introduced by Pennsylvania Governor John Shapiro, and he was viewed as one of the front runners for the VP spot. But he talked a lot about Harris and how he supports them and says that he is going to help them win this election. Now, this is the first time that Harris and Walls are having a joint rally where they are going to be pitching their their sell to voters ahead of the November election. Now, Harris just released her call with Walls this morning on X asking him to be her VP. Watch. Listen, I want you to do this with me. Let's let's do this together. Would you be my running mate and let's get this thing on the road? I would be honored, Madam Vice President. Uh, the joy that you're bringing back to the country, the enthusiasm that's out there, uh, it would be a privilege to take this with you across the country. Harris also saying on X that Walls has a history of delivering for working families and it's great to have him on the team. Sources tell Fox that a deciding factor in Harris's choice between Walls and Pennsylvania Governor John Shapiro is what Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman said about concerns with Shapiro's personal ambitions. So here's a little bit about Walls. He's a former congressman and he's in his second term as governor of Minnesota. He has a history of supporting progressive legislation, including abortion rights and gender affirming care for trans youth and free college tuition. Now, Critics went after his leadership during the George Floyd riots. They accused him of not calling in the National Guard quickly enough. And he said he could have done a better job in that situation. His supporters include Senator Bernie Sanders and the United Auto Workers Union. But today, there is another VP nominee in town, Senator J.D. Vance. Tim Waltz's record is a joke. He's been one of the most far-left radicals in the entire United States government at any level. But I think that what Tim Waltz's selection says is that Kamala Harris has bent the knee to the far left of her party, which is what she always does. Vance also holding a rally in Philly today, and he said he called Walls to congratulate him on being the VP nominee. Vance says he wants to debate Walls after the Democratic National Convention in a couple of weeks. In Philadelphia, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 26 News.